so happy to be at all times. The murder victim and her sister, age eight, lived with their half-brother under the care of their aunt, Maria Masajo Barry, Khadija's mother's older sister in Freetown, Sierra Leone. I spoke to the father, Abu Bakr Sako, who now lives in the U.S. state of Delaware, and asked him how he learned of his daughter's death. It was on my birthday, June 17, when my aunt called me and she was in a shock and a panic. And uh, she was trying to tell me that my daughter was dead. It took me a minute for my brain to settle down and try to absorb the message. While my family was trying to arrange you know, the, the, the burial of my daughter because of the, 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 the traditional belief and the religious belief. I said, I, I'm not gonna, I'm, I don't believe that. So please do not bury my daughter. I need my daughter's body to be examined. I also reached out to Khadija's mother, Binta Sako, who lives in the United Kingdom and has not spoken publicly about her daughter's death. She responded in a text message, quote, at this moment, I have nothing to say until after I have given a befitting burial to my daughter. Let the story be about her at this point in time. More so, I'm still in pain and shock of her death and circumstances surrounding her death. I hope you understand my current situation as a mother. Desperate for answers, Abu Bakr sought help from his state senator's office in conjunction with the U.S. Embassy in Sierra Leone to prevent the burial of his daughter due to the family's religious beliefs as Muslims. Currently, a decision on the burial remains in legal limbo in the Sierra Leone court system. In 2019, President Julius Mada Bio declared rape and sexual violence a national emergency as the country topped 8,000 reported cases of sexual and gender-based violence. But many activists believe thousands of sexual violence cases go unreported. Meanwhile, the attention attracted by this case has brought about a larger campaign of justice for rape victims in the country. Renowned gender activist Nasu Fofana joined Sierra Leoneans protesting in Freetown, calling for justice for Khadija outside the Attorney General's office. And some young people called Kid Advocacy Network um, decided to organize a, a protest, which um, we were all part of. We protested, we went to the Attorney General's office, and different groups came, but they were actually leading that. So we're expecting the alleged perpetrator to be charged for murder because it's a higher crime and, of course, rape, but the, the main charge is, um, is, is murder. Justice for Khadija! Justice for Khadija! Justice for Khadija! The alleged suspects, the victim's half-brother, Ibrahim Bar, 20, is being charged with the murder, rape, and strangulation of Khadija. He remains jailed without bail as the case is being heard in the court system. So far, he has not made any statement regarding the case. The aunt, Maria Masajo Bari, however, is being charged with conspiracy to murder. Abu Bakr told me since the death of his daughter, he has not been able to get out of his house. The way she dies, the, you know, for somebody to go mess with a little girl at that age, at that age, and then end up killing her, it's very, very sad. And then my, 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 my oldest daughter too, I don't know how people think I'm gonna take this. I really don't. It's very, very hard. Tell me what you remember most about Khadija. Khadija was a very smart little girl. You know, the neighborhood where she was born, she, she liked the rock, rock star in the neighborhood. Imagine about one year, some months, and uh, she passed all the tests that typical three-year-old child will pass. So I send money to my sister to get her enrolled in school. 